Welcome to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine Part 1, guys. We have finally made it the beginning of the end, or I guess the uh, the start of the end, or the final step. We've been doing this playthrough for now over, oh god, like two years if you count The Witcher 1. It's been a long time, guys, but we have finally made it to the final expansion of The Witcher 3. But before we get into that today, I want to start with something a little bit more on the, uh, on the sort of, um... The, the less less sort of grand side. I just want to finish off this final thing from the um, the base game. I hope this is the final thing. Might not be. There might be a couple uh, return trips here and there throughout the Blood and Wine playthrough that we're starting today. But um, um, yeah, I want to go do this now. As you can see, my Geralt, he's he's still fresh off Hearts of Stone. He's got Iris, the all good sword. He's still wearing his glasses. And um, after I've done this little thing, we're going to go and do a... Um, a little sort of outfit change, I suppose. I was going to say makeover, but that sounds a bit... <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna go and give my Geralt a little bit... Yeah, you know, a little bit of a makeover. And we're going to get him ready for Tucson. I'm going to bring back some stuff from... Um, that I used to do a long time ago in the playthrough, I think. But we'll see. And, uh, yeah, then we'll get going to the, uh, the Blood and Wine playthrough. Well, you know, Tucson. The Blood and Wine playthrough starts now. This is just a little, little, little prologue. So if you haven't watched the playthrough so far, um, you don't need the context for this. I'm sure they'll explain it as they talk, but um, as um, you guys know, if you watch the playthrough, this is the guy from the cart with the ghouls and the uh, the plague bodies. So let's just finish off this. Looking for ghouls? Why? No one else to do me in. Been in a bad way for days. Final breaths like... But somehow can't die. So strong since I were a lad, damn it. Hmm. We met before. I pulled me from under a pile of stiffs. I was sure their scourge had never touched me. So sure, so foolish. Oh. Listen. You did me a kindness once. Do me another. Got a sharp sword there. Finish this. You know, I think you've got to show kindness in some of these things, guys, and sometimes mercy is kindness, and I... Obviously, he's not going to recover, not in a, um... A world like this. I mean, if I had the option to say, hey, I know a sorceress, maybe she can help, but, uh, obviously, that's not an option, so I'm, I'm going to do the kindness like I did with Sheila. You sure? I beg you! Do it quick, then burn my remains! All right. Sangi. Take this. Thought I'd leave some coin for me young'uns, but they've no need of it now. It's okay, look, he's fine. Um. What? Okay, I fixed it. Amazing. Right. And he wanted us to burn the remains now. Kind of curious what's in here. This is not the greatest house. Did he, when he said the young'un thing, do you think he means his children? Do you think something... Do you think they died of the plague because of him? That is very dark, if that's the case. I don't know. Okay, well, good way to start the cheery blood and wine playthrough. Um, we've got that out of the way. Let's go and get our Geralt a... Uh, God, I, I don't know why I don't like calling it. It just doesn't seem to fit the Witcher... Um, uh, vocabulary, but let's give Geralt a makeover. Let's let's make him fresh and ready for some um, for some for some Tucson adventures or tu Tucson whatever Tucson adventures. I know that's how you say it. I just uh, I always say that. Um, but let's go do it now. You know what, guys? I'm actually just on my way to get Geralt his um, his new his new haircut. Um, but I uh, I realized I actually made this in the build up to today's part, and I want to show you just before we uh, we actually get to do some. So this is the armor we got for the diagrams. You might notice my coins are like. 2,000 lighter. I had to buy a bunch of draconic leather and I also had to make some. It needed like wax and stuff. It was kind of interesting. Um, but I made this just because it's some actual cool armor. I got an achievement for it because I have all the rest of the Aferi stuff like the horse saddle and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It was a, like an epic achievement or something. So this is what it looks like. It's it's okay. Um, it doesn't really suit Geralt in my opinion. Although in Tucson, I think it might be quite fun to wear it around the, uh, the vineyard as like the lord of the vineyard. You know, I'll, like put my hand up and be like, hey, what, what, you know, what are you doing? Get back to work. I think it kind of works. Um, but anyway, let's get back into the, the Witcher armor. 
There it is. We'll wear the Viper armor. Don't worry, guys. We'll wear that once we once we hit that level. Okay. So to begin, let's go in here. There's the barber. We're going to take off the glasses, guys. This is really signifying the end of the Hearts of Stone playthrough. Boom. They're off. Geralt, you can see my friend. Oh, it's so weird to see him without the glasses. I'm so used to him with the glasses. Oh, it's very odd. Okay. Right, Barber. Oh, that's does anyone else find that weird? I haven't seen him without his glasses Greetings, for a long time. Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Okay, so. Right, what, what is it I want to do here? I know what I want to do, guys. I've, I know what I want to do. There it is, guys. The classic Geralt. He is back, looking looking as cool as ever. Next thing, as I said, guys, this is something I used to do a very long time ago, but I'm gonna do now. I wanna be I wanna be clean shaven. Clean shaven. I don't like it at all. I actually really don't like it, but um, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it's fine. But I feel like I um, you know, I'm going to a new area. Let's let the beard grow as the uh, as the playthrough goes. Our last shave, unless we're forced into it, which we might be. But whatever. There he is. Classic Geralt is back. So long. We have truly finished Hearts of Stone. Oh, this is weird. I'm so used to Geralt with like his glasses and his and his other haircut. Maybe we'll get that haircut back. You never know. But I feel like if we're gonna start Blood and Wine, guys, I wanna start from a uh, the original sort of point. Right. Well, I've done everything. I've done literally everything I wanted to do before I went there. Um, I could put this armor in the storage, but I'll probably need to access the storage pretty early on in Tucson. Same with the glasses. So I'll um, I'll leave it in the inventory for now, or the inventory, whatever, for now. Um, and I'm going to go and head to meet the knights from Tucson in Holloway. Right. How far away is this? Because I could use the signpost to get there really quickly. You know what I'm going to do, guys? Because I'm so close, I'm just going to ride there on Roach. I'm going to fully RP this. Okay, guys, we are pretty much at the settlement. I'm just on, riding Roach. in on Roach. She's doing well. We're going to try and make our way in here. Okay, I think we came here a long time ago by accident. Yeah, we did get the signpost here. It won't be as cocky once the uh -huh. man what is this? Arse. I think we saw the knights, like, talking outside of here or something. And this was a long time ago. But we then didn't go and see them. But let's just imagine that didn't happen. So let's have a look. Baron Palmerin of Lanfell's coat of arms. I'm going to have such a lot of difficulty pronouncing this. Oh, also, for anyone worried about the darkness of indoors in Tucson, which is obviously going to be amplified by my various lighting things. Um, I don't have that many things on, at least I think. I, do, I don't, I don't. I have like one thing, I think. Um, I've got a another little mod that makes it a bit lighter indoors so we can actually see. Okay. Get out of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The Griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. We are short. We share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planterers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Get rid of these bandits. Worst ones will come replace them. That's a terrible, terrible attitude. <laughs> uh, don't you think? 
Like, you know, I don't know. Right. Let me help with the bandits. Of course, we're going to help the two Salt Knights of the Bandits, guys. These guys are very different to anyone else we've met so far in this playthrough. It's almost like when you meet a Skelligan. It's just like, what? This, this is cool and new. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmodon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Pomeran's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. They are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Take my advice. Listen to Paul Merrin. Se um, seem they won't heed your call. Seems they won't heed your call. Oh, I think they should take the advice, guys. I really think they should listen to him. It's so weird seeing Geralt without a beard, guys. I gotta say. Right. Okay. Right. Listen to Paul Merrin. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint, and they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared are wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron, you will pay with your own blood! By the crane, villains, ready your arms! Let's go to Salt Knights, or Tucson Knights and pa pal Pale Marin, pa pal Marin, pal. Look, I, I don't know. The their names are tough. I will just say them. Okay, okay, they got some crossbows set up, guys. They've actually got tactics here. Oh, look at that! Iris. We haven't used Olgir's sword yet. I think this is a good good starting point to use them, for sure. You know? Ooh. God, this is a big group of bandits. They're also quite high level. Oh, okay. I, I avoided and I avoided into them. Mistakes were made. Hang on. Ooh. You know what? am I doing? I'm not using the best tactic. Wait there. Let's let's just deal with these guys and, and then we can get going. I'm looking forward to what's coming up. Did I get him? No. Okay, it's it's gonna be hard to set this guy on fire. I'm just not gonna bother. Oh, 
god. Okay, this these guys are kind of hard. Conjure it. Bastards conjure it. Kill if you love the gods. I can hear a crossbow. I don't want to get into any kill cams. Hang on. Just deal with these guys. They're quite high level. Okay. No Yoltum Zorg. Awesome name, by the way. Kind of weird. Okay. Bandit time. Okay, we set one guy on fire. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit him while his stamina drains. I wanna try and um get Zorg here. With a with another uh, with a an on fire, but I don't think it's gonna work. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this. Tucson, guys, where are you? Help me. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, I should probably drink that potion. I like Tony Owl, but I'm I'm like you know what? Not not right now. I can do this. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, I'm on very low health. How many are left? I've got no idea. You know what? God, they've got a lot of stuff here. Can I loot them all? Not good. Okay, is that all of them? Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved, Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Crossed City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Anna Henrietta sell that word for word. This beast, tell me more. Hmm. Well, obviously the extra dialogue first. Anna Henrietta really say all that word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, "Bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone." The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. We should um, we should go and see if we can bring Frangilla. <laughs> Although, they, they are cousins, so, you know, maybe she'd be cool with that. Yeah, um, they're referencing in the books when Geralt basically went to Toussaint with, um, let, um, let's just call it his group. There's a group of friends. There was uh, Regis, Cahir, Milva, Angulimer, um... Regis Cahir, Milva, and Gulamere. I think that was it, no? Pretty sure. Oh, and Dandelion. Of course, and Dandelion. Dandelion was like the, um, the, the main, the main guy. But, you know, that's not important right now. This, I can tell you all that when we're there and we're just traveling around doing markets and stuff. So this beast, tell me more. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. 
And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet. Our only sure witnesses. The bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Okay. The beast wields black magic? Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Hmm. Anyone tried trapping the monster? Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Makes sense. Um, did you say tawny? Mentioned a tawny. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to Her Grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Okay, this sounds pretty bad then. So there is some sort of monster that can... that can basically just... seemingly kill with, without any sort of, um... I don't know, without anyone being able to do anything, I suppose. There's just there's, there's no resistance. They can't do it. Well, it looks like it's up to us, guys. We, we've we've done a lot of contracts in our time, and this is just um, a bit more of a grander one, I suppose. We'll take it. Let's do it. Actually, just wait, hang on. Oh. Oh, I can actually take these? That's pretty cool. Well, I got the drawings. That's, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, okay, I guess we're going to go. Still waiting. As I told you, we cannot return empty-handed. It is simply out of the question. Have you reconsidered? Will you take the offer? Let's go to Tucson. I cannot wait, guys. I honestly cannot wait. This is just going to be amazing. I don't even know what to say, guys. This is just... I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. Ready to go. As soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. 
You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! Okay, we are here guys, we're in Tucson, like, I'm gonna get this guy that I actually want to talk about this, because I, I am so excited, oh god. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh. Can I set him on fire? Does the tactic still work in Tucson? It does! It will always work. Oh god, no, just, no my friend's fine, my friend's fine. Oh my god, this guy's intense. Look at him! Ah, uh, little does he know. Is it also equipped oil for me? Oh, that's a weird game. Okay, that, I, I thought I had my shield up, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, there's some attacks here. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Come on. Oh, this is a this is a different sort of thing we're getting here today. No potions needed though, don't worry guys. I got this. I just don't have to get hit again, right? That's all I need to do. Ah, oh, the Igni tactic. Never fails me, even in new lands. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got him. That's what I'm talking about. Go sheep, be free. We have saved you all. Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, outfit it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Oh, well. Oh, I know who the, um, the fair maiden is, as they, as they call them in the game, okay? That is literally what he said, I think. Something along that line. Look, fantasy term for person you want to impress. Okay, um, how did Giant wind up here? God, this has been an explosive entry. Right, let's, let's, how did Giant fi wind up here? Let's, let's find out. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We are, we are on a job here, guys. You know, we're doing an incredible contract. Um, okay, glad to take the trophy. You did well against the giant. You know what? He actually did do well. I did notice at the start of the fight, had a little bit of health off it. So, you know, for a normal human, you know, Geralt's an enhanced human, he did pretty well. And he did also have a pretty awesome entry on the horse and stuff. I like that. Okay. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity. As the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. 
You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform Her Gracious Magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see Her Grace. Oh, oh my god, my health was very low. And it's full. 39! Okay, right, everyone, we made this <laughs> uh, last time, but, well, you know, in previous uh, adventures. But I couldn't wear it. <laughs> yes! Look at it! Oh, I mean, we're going to be switching armor pretty soon. But just to wear the default, basically the default witch armor. Although it has some cool, like, scale pattern on it, which I quite like on the gauntlets and the sort of, um... What's it called? The t chest, chest piece, the breastplate, I guess. Breast, breast, uh, the, the tab, tabard, breastplate. What is it? What do they call it? Just chest armor. Whatever, whatever it is. I think it looks very, very cool. Look at Toussaint, guys. We're here. We're finally here. I have not been here in so long. I'm actually just curious about something. What is my? Okay, yeah, that audio is pretty good. I adjusted it beforehand because the music in Toussaint is quite quiet at points. Look at it, though. You might notice I am using a lighting thing, and I, the only reason I'm using it is literally, guys, I know, I, 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 I'm, I know I'm great, right? I'm kidding. It's just for you guys. It's for you guys, because I am aware of how dark the indoors of Tucson are normally, and the lighting thing I, um, I still am using, I've just got a specific Tucson thing that makes it a little bit lighter uh, indoors specifically, and it's also affected outside a little bit. I had another one I was using, which I really, really liked. It made it all look like a fairy tale type thing, um, but I, um, it was way too dark indoors, so I went for this other one, and I've tested it. It's a little bit dark at points, but for the most part, you can actually see, so I've sorted out that, but um, I'll just quickly say, guys, I mean, I've talked about this in the playthrough, but if you're hopping on now, it has been a long time since I've been to Tucson. Like a very, very long time. I'm talking before I started The Witcher 1. The Witcher 1 I started in, I want to say like March of 2018, maybe April of 2018, something like that. Um, it was before then. And even in the playthrough before then, I'd only just finished Hearts of Stone when I decided to do a Witcher 1 playthrough on the channel. So I never got to Blood of Wine. Obviously, I've like been to Tucson and played Blood of Wine a little bit here and there with like videos on the channel throughout. But it's been a while since I've actually just come here, played it as the actual game intends, and just had a great time. And, like, seeing the opening scene, it's been a while since I've seen that, and, like, properly, and experienced it. And I feel like it's been well-earned, guys. I'm so happy. I know you're pretty itching to get on with it, but, um, should we just have a quick look? There's, I noticed there's a door there. I wonder if we can just sneak in here. Little Tucson house? No, okay. Right. Right, well, we got to get this beast anyway. I mean, we have the drawings of the beast. They're, they're, they're in the inventory. Um, yeah, you can see them there in the bit. Oh, we have a new trophy from, for Roach just then, right? Oh, Roach, we're going to be getting you some cool new stuff this playthrough. Do I, I kind of want to get this herb. I feel like Brave I went past a herb. Yum. True. Very true. Parmarin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Oh, my God. Look at it, guys. Look where we are. We get to spend an entire playthrough here. Look how cool this armor is. This feels very reminiscent of starting in The Witcher 1. There's, I, obviously, I want to be getting, and it's already a spoiler, but I want to be getting the Manticore armor as soon as possible, and then also the Grandmaster sets. Okay, they still insult us. You know, it's familiar. I like it. I, I don't know if that was an insult. It was kind of Come hard on. to tell. Should we, should we go a bit faster? I just oh, I just want to look around at it. Look at that little... Oh, that's um, Duntine Castle, no? I did a video Can't on that. get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Oh, the music. Oh, Claire. Oh, look at that bridge. 
Oh, guys, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm still get- I get goosebumps every time that music plays, and I'm actually here. Oh, my controllers ran out. Perfect timing, guys. Perfect timing. Don't worry, I got a spare. Okay. Quest updated. Oh, I just- I am blown away. Look where we are. Look at the little bridge. Look at Beauclair in the distance. The Elven Palace. Right. Okay. Right. Let's get on with the contract, guys. We got this. Some fish. Okay. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Good idea, Geralt. Good idea. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. That is possible. That is possible. Oh. Oh, is this the uh, the the new thing? The like, what's it called? Like a scurver or something? Got it. I might have that completely wrong. Ah, yes, I got it right. Got okay. Careful. Oh, oh, it still works. It still works. God, hang on. It still works, guys. I'm gonna try and get them all grouped up. It's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. They've worked up my tactics. Oh, that worked. I was thinking of trying out Old Faithful then, but um, it does seem to work. It just picks and shit. Oh, God. It's so overpowered. I'll actually get one, don't worry. I'll actually get one too, legitimately. I won't even use my Quen. Oh. Basket, get up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, get up. Oh, wait. That did a lot of damage. Let's keep looking. Oof. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk the potion because Geralt sometimes goes a little bit veiny. And, um, I don't like that in the cutscenes. It looks odd. Um, even though it makes sense, I just, uh, I prefer not to have it, you know? Ooh. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Okay. So where were we on our investigation prior to, um, Skurvas appearing? Ah, we were here. Okay, so there's some more stuff here. Can I loot it? Junk that came down the river. Oh. We must keep searching. What do you mean junk, Geralt? There was a mug and junk, a platter there. Junk, stop, stop, that, that's enough, that's enough good junk, Geralt. We don't need to be looking at the junk. Um, oh, is there something to loot? Junk, junk, oh, no. and more junk. It's junk, junk, and more junk, guys. There's a lot of junk around. What about this? Junk, yeah, junk, yeah, I could have guessed, I could have guessed. guessed. Right, so we got some stuff here. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Ooh. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Pretty good idea. You know what, I'll do this. I'll wait like an hour, just so it clears the potion effect. Yeah, there you go. It shouldn't have an effect anyway, but just sometimes it seems to have one. Like, it's, it's really weird. It's, it's hard to explain. Like, if you reload a save or something and you still have the potion effect on it, then it, like, puts it on your face sometimes. It's very weird. Look at the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat recently, probably to transport the body somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, so they had, like, what, some sort of cart here or something? Or the body was here and they pulled it up? Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Hmm. Okay, well that's everything. I guess we're gonna dive in, as was mentioned. Oh wait, hang on, there's a... Nets were attached here. Okay. Looks like there's some, some loot. Oh, we get to swim in the... Look how crystal clear this is. Oh, I mean, it's probably very similar to the other water, but I really like it. It's because of where we are, too. See, I know all this stuff is just pointless, but I, I want I want it all, all right? I need all this stuff. I need the gutted fish. Um, bottle. It's nice. I like it. There's something over there. It's a jug, okay? Okay. You know what? Hang on.
Okay. Oh, a handkerchief monogrammed DLC. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, or ex expansion, ex expec. What's it called when you? I don't know. Something like that. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. We'll bring it back to Palmerin or Palmerin. Or, uh, we'll bring it back to Pally over there. Good old pal Pally. Okay. Well, I think I got everything. Just curious, wondering if there's like more chests and stuff. You know, I guess we can come back here. We'll get carrying on with it. Let me out the water. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Someone's watching us. They found a monogrammed handkerchief. Handkerchief, whatever. Someone was watching us. They had a cloak on and everything. It was very creepy. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet! Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Okay, found a monogrammed handkerchief. Yes, we did. It said, uh, DLC, right? Um, I feel kind of bad I'm not using Old Geared Sword, <laughs> but... Also, I did make these, but, uh, you know. Right, okay, found a monogrammed handkerchief. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed... D.L.C. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Toussaint. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Oh, Palmerin, you're, you're a good pal, you know? Thank you for taking me to this amazing land. I guess technically again. Where's Roach? Oh, she's, you know, just in the ground, sort of. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll loot and look around later. God, listen to the music! Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmerin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity Stop offensive. The whip away those running riots. A watering hole for uh, traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. Oh, nice. That was a cat. Not a cat. Oh, I thought I had an option. Talking about the beast. Hello. Were they? Did they? Were they talking about Geralt or not? I don't know. Right. Never the cockatrice in. Oh, the cockatrice in. Well, because it's just filled with alcohol. <laughs> oh, a notice board. Right, we'll go to that after. Should we go in first? This place looks interesting. The north. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Nought else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. 
But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? I'm Geralt. Milton introduced me already. I'd like to be nice to this guy and just be like, yeah, I'm Geralt, but I feel like he's not going to take it well. <laughs> he seems the sort of guy that he wants like a, a sarcastic or extravagant response. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this one. Like Milton said, I've come from the north at the Duchess's behest to deal with the beast. Yes, yes, but who are you? A knight? A mercenary? A soldier? Geralt is a witcher, a master of his trade. He has questions for you about the beast's most recent victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask her, please, or we shall be here till winter. Lots of red skies, huh? The sky was red, then what? Yeah, let's hear about um, what happened after, I suppose. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man! You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not the soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Oh, I just keep on knocking that. Right, okay. Victim's body. Wait, I don't know, that keeps on happening. I might just have to move the... Right, I'm moving it away. <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> right, victim's body, where'd they take it? Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one throw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Focusing the beast's divine punishment? When that um, girl in the hood walk past, my controller shakes. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a medallion -y thing. Okay. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. 
Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The Duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. I swear to God, I am not touching this mouse. It just keeps on happening. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right. What else um, do people say about the beast? They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Chantois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Right, yeah, we'll go examine the body. We'll see what's going on. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? Ha! <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the Palace Gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Okay. Oh. Oh, a book. I vow upon the heron that I shall never again touch a drop oh, yes, these are the drawings I got, although for some reason they're not showing up. I do see an innkeeper, guys, and I'm wondering if this means something. Something that it has been a while since Richard. we have last done. Properly. I guess it was the shiny thing. That does not count. Oh, it's nice out here. Witcher, please, sir. Find that beast. Uh, I'll, I'll try. What's in here? Dimeritium cured draconic leather? Is this the toilet? Wow, they have a um, strange storage system in Tucson. Ow! Oh, that was a lot of good stuff. Sorry, look, I'm, I'm looking for the beast. I'm doing what you said. It requires running into people. What's in the works today? Swilling wine rolling in the hay? I'm taking your stuff, but I will also swindle you of Gwent. Crayfish chowder recipe. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hair pate recipe. Yes. Okay. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine, parsley for thyme? Huh? Your Nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. I was just trying to be nice. Oh, we can Gwent him. Right, heard any rumors? Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Hmm. Okay, well, this, this guy seems fun. Right, I guess we just have to show him who's boss now. We gotta do it. Oh, 50? Oh, guys, Gwen's finally gonna become <laughs> profitable for how much time we put in. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. Dear fellow, okay, he was up for with that. a fish sock like that, you must have your pick of Ooh. the latest. That's an interesting one, isn't it? I guess that's his, like, demons. God, the music is new. I like it. Oh, Skellige. Oh, yeah, the new deck. The new one they added for, um, Toussaint. I kind of want to keep Villain Trek Mirth. I feel like he's actually quite good. Especially when I'm putting stuff like that down. I'm going to get rid of him. And then her. Okay. Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 
I'm hoping the tactic is still the same. I'm sure just spamming spies will always work, regardless of, um, of what faction my opponent is, or, or the, the amount we're betting on it. Interesting. Should I just fill in Tretton now, or I, I'm not, I might just stick down a 15, just win. How are we on the same amount? Uh... Yeah, I might just get like a really heavy lead. Maybe try and make him put down a spy or something. Okay, well I could scorch them, but I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna try and get like a big lead. Right, if these are falls too, I say we just get all of them. Okay. Oh my god, this this is getting better and better. Right. We're gonna make them play everything, then we're gonna try and get some major scorches off here. Oh, this is just this is guys, they the game is spoiling me too much here. I don't even need to scorch them, I can villain trap murder them. Right, you ready? I'm gonna do it now. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I think this is good enough, right? In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> I like him. I mean, I could just... I'm, not, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I've, I've two crowned him. Okay, wow. Well, that was a good good game. Thought I knew him all. Guess I was wrong. Must be a one-off. Message on the back, signed by a certain Count Monier. Invitation to a tournament. Interesting. Ah, oh, a new Gwent tournament too. The innkeeper has just left. He's not always oh, back. Hey, you enjoy the Gwent game? Can I Gwent him like again? God, could you not just constantly Gwent and just get fifty crowns every time? That's quite a good. Oh, they sell it. Ah, oh, this stuff is like such a bottleneck. I, I'm assuming they just have given it to every innkeeper because of how important it is. Right. Thank you. Basically, you need oh, that to make white gold, which is one of the most important like you must have alcohols for every single ladies. potion in the game. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of oh, I'll, Also, I've opted to do something for this playthrough, and it's going to lead to um, certain things happening with the videos that's not going to be financially viable, but I, I think it's better to do it than not. I kind of want to check the notice boards. But I feel like also I just want to get going with the quest because I'm going to have to read everything on here and um, it's going to take a while. Oh, they're talking about uh, what we did. Okay. No, we'll do the quest a little bit first before I get and uh, go and read some stuff. I'll go back and do that soon, I think. We'll do this, like, next part first, I think. Roach, we're quite close, but I feel like, Roach, it's nice to... Oh, look where we are. Oh, it's so awesome here. It's been such a long time. Oh. Look at that. Look at the knight. He has like a little hat on. He has another. They both have hats on. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry. Oh, it does. Oh, it sounds like a horrible fight. Move it. Uh, Roach, I'm going to get you to stay here for safety. Okay, there's a there's a barrel. There's a dying guy. He's dead. Damn it! Killer must still be here. I hear someone else. That literally. Okay. Well. It's not all nice in... There's raven things watching me. Or a lot of them. I guess they're waiting for me to go so they can start picking at the bodies. Oh. Loot. Oh. Stuff. Okay. Throat torn open by man-like jaws. Man-like. Except for long fangs. Fangs, huh? Opens inventory. Oh, hang on. You know what I want to make? Because I probably haven't made it yet. 
Oh wait, is it? It's alchemy, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay, I want to make all the white gold I can first, I suppose. Yeah, we'll, we'll just make this first. Right, what do I want to make? I want to make, um... Where is it? There it is. I want to make this, then can I make the, the final version of it? At least that we have access to? Yeah, I can. There's a bunch of potions too, but they all require um, varying things. Is there anything here I need? Thunderbolt's actually quite good. God, we still make this? Right, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I think everything else is fine for now. You know what, I'm actually going to pre-select. I'm, I'm planning for something here, guys, obviously. I mean, I'm just saying, guys, it looks pretty, um... I mean, you never know, but... Okay, you? Can I, can I look at him? Busted ribs, blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Massacred by a vampire. Not an Ekimura, though, or a Flutter. Bruxa, gotta be. Oh, Bruxas are not. Uh, well, they're, they're pr that's probably the most deadly vampire we fought so far in the game. Like even more so than the coroner, who wasn't really a higher vampire. He was sort of, I'd say, uh, a Brooks is more deadly than that. Killed with a single blow. Christ! Look at him. Look how look how detailed that is. Oh God, I'm like leaning further into the mic. Look how detailed that is. Like, you can see, like, it dripping from the back. Ugh. In the cellar. Gotta be. River Muck. Carried the body in this cart. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. Yeah, they just flung it. Is that River Muck? I would have said blood, to be honest. I guess either or. This is why Geralt's the, um, the master tracker. Although I technically... Oh, it doesn't matter. Wounds. From five separate claws, spread of a small human hand. Oh, look at it! On his back, you can actually see it. Oh, yeah, and their little clawed fingers. Okay, well, is that everything? I think it is. I think it is. Nice house, though. Well, vineyard, I guess. If not a bit um, morbid at the moment. Oh! Should I, how good is this armor? It's got to be worse than what I'm wearing. Yeah, it is. Thank God, this Vibram is still fine. Oh, I see something else. Woman from the inn was wearing this coat. Okay. Right. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna head in. Oh, there's a guy there. He could have just fallen. This this could be unrelated. Is that a guy moving? <laughs> Oh, okay. Footprints. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Oh. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. See, see, could be unrelated. Could be unrelated, guys. Doesn't have to be all this. Oh, look how cool it is in here. Oh, it is dark though, but it's not. It's not terribly dark. There is some light sources. It's dark in the bits where there's no light, but that's kind of realistic. I feel. Oh, another guy. Hurled against the wall with great force. I think we get the picture that there is something very, very... Well, it's a Bruxa, right? But something very strong. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Yes, yes. Used this to batter down the grate. Used a body? God. There's more barrels just wandering around. They had a little drink on the way down. Of wine? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I see. It's through there. Okay. You saw you at the inn. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood.
we don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Geralt, what have we gotten ourselves into here? Okay, okay, okay. Right, first up, we're gonna drink some. Oh. Okay, I kind of want to let this Bruxa have a, a go at biting me. Would, that sounds really weird. Right, I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her have a go. Just because I want to see this happen. I want to see. I want to see something happen. Something really cool. I'm gonna. I'm just letting her. Go on, try and bite me. Try and bite me. Okay, this is this is getting a bit. I think what I have to do is when she does when she does that move where she tries to stun me. Oh god, oh god. Then, then I'm letting her hit me by the way. I'm just right, right, here we go. Go on, try and try and jump on me. Damn it. I know they do try. There you go, there you go. That's because I drink the black blood. How cool is that? Right, I'm gonna try something else now. Okay. Right, now we can actually try and win. Right. See, see the moon dust? Oh, how cool is that? It's like the trailer. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, we can also do this. This might be quite fun. Kill all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? I mean, it wasn't too bad, you know. It wasn't too bad. God, my toxicity is up a little bit. I might just um, just 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 clear that. There you go. That's nice. She still has the moon dust. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, before I look at the table, let's see what's actually in this room. Um, yeah, it is a bit lighter. You know, it is a bit lighter. It's not as dark as I was um, anticipating, which is nice. Yeah, I think it's just this, right? Let's have a look. Uh, stinks. Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Okay. Examine head, examine chest, examine the severed hand. This feels very reminiscent of the, uh, remember the coroner quest? That was one of my favorite quests of the game. It's a fun quest, actually. What's it called? Car Carberet or something? Or something like that. Okay. Examine the head. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging with coins. Elf Guardian Florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Okay, it's getting more and more similar to the coroner quest. I think... Carber no, Carberry is like the one that it that starts with, maybe? I think it's Carnal Sins, is what the actual quest is called. But, yeah, it's getting very similar. Look at him! Oh, He's just completely, like, torn apart. Right, examine chest. What's, you know, left of it, I guess. Or the, the bit... I guess it might be... You know, there's ease of access now. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Yeah, 
even the coin pouch and the chest, the neck and everything, or wherever it was. Throat, was it? I don't know. Examine the severed hand. Yeah, it's a severed hand. It's a third hand, it looks like, because he has two. Third hand. A spare. Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Also had very sharp nails. Okay, let's end the examination. So, Murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, Pouch shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess. Good idea, Geralt. We gotta go see her, we gotta go discuss payment, etc. We've already done quite a bit of the job. So where is the Brooks, uh... It's gone now. Sort of disintegrated, I guess. Cool if it was just like a little bone pile. Okay. Well, let's get out of this creepy place. Lots of dead soldiers. Oof. The ravens? They have gone. There was definitely ravens or crows or something near here. Interesting. So we have to go and find Palmerin and ask him to take us to the Duchess. And it is actually very close to where we are now. I was going to go back and read the um, notice board, but what I think I'll do is head over here, because there's probably quite a lot of stuff to look at just in this area anyway. Oh, look at this place. Well, Corvo Bianco. An amazing place. We will be uh, returning soon. Okay. Oh, it is night. Look at that. Oh. Little pathway. I don't know where Roach is. I'm sure she's fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, the tawny. Oh, look, there's people, like, through the <laughs> building. Oh. Oh. Where is Roach? Ah, there she is. She's fine. God. Well, we'll just ignore that. Um, we'll go past. Ooh. <gasps> Guys, they're giving us lots of loot here. Lots of loot. This is good. We need to replenish our um, loot after various expenses in recent times. The Afiri being the big one. Oh, wow. Oh. De bois fresh, de bois fresh, freshness, de bois freshness, guide de bois freshness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're fighting. Is that a Redanian shield? That is a Redanian shield. Can I come in? I would like to help. Oh, there she is. Right, that's her up there. You see her? Just watching. There's a Nilf Guardian down there. A winged helmet and everything. Oh, there's two. Oh, they beat the Rodanian. Oh. Hey, Roach. You having fun? Oh, look at this place. Oh, wow. It's like a little shield tower. Look at this. Uh, yes? You know, I realized we didn't have a proper look at Roach's, um, new, new thing. Oh wait, where is it? We, did we even put it on? No, we didn't. <laughs> what does it give us? 5% bonus experience on monsters? I guess XP is probably better than gold, maybe, but that's 15% extra gold feels really good. That does look pretty cool. I like it. It's interesting. I'm going to stick with the other one for now, though, I think. I, I just feel like the gold is probably better. And also, I like the pig head. And it's sort of a special thing you have to get only by doing that pig thing correctly, so I kind of like it. Okay. 
So what have we got here then? Oh, candles. We'll light them, we'll light them. Why not? Might look nice. <laughs> this is why I did a five and a half hour part the other day, because I just sit around lighting candles. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Hey, what would you got stuff to sell? I've won massive B in my bonnet today. Oh. Okay. The more you know. Um What is it? Oh look at that. Oh, hello. What are, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna leave this place. This guy's creeping me out. Oh, look at all this. What are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Actually being nice to me? What? Is that the Order of the Flaming Rose symbol? But it looks different. It looks nicer. It looks original. But I did. All night I spent rubbing it, chirping it, wheeling it. On the fuller, a rust stain. On the point, the prints of your greasy fingers. You will pay for this after the tournament. Master Witcher, you wouldn't be sitting an apprentice, would you? Past <laughs> I'm with good company. I laugh um. and shall until I die. Grudge who last but none deny. So gods be pleased to sleep will I Well, the the more you know. Oh. So this is like a order of the fingers horse too. Look how cool that is. Oh That's incredible. I mean it's interesting because I I suppose the Order of the Flaming Rose are not completely oh, disbanded the then. Cradle. That's nice. What have they got around here then? Oh, there's a red note. Okay, look, I've heard you saying for long enough. Oh, there's multiple notes. My manifesto, the life of Jacques de Aldersburg. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna stop or I just gotta listen to him this whole time? Okay, he's dumb. Um, the reasons for choosing Jacques de Aldersburg as Grand Master remain a mystery. The Order of the White Rose had gone through a crisis in those times and was on the verge of collapse. So one might guess that the Brethren wished to have someone, um, decisive as their leaders. As leaders? Um, someone with a clear vision. De Aldersburg was precisely such a man. One of his first decisions was to change the Brotherhood's name to the Order of the Flaming Rose. The most puzzling aspect, however, is that the Order and the King himself decided to trust a man who, for all intents and purposes, had appeared out of nowhere. They say he was a wanderer, an in it, 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 itinerant, it, itinerant, itinerant, I think, itinerant, itinerant, itinerant priest who moved crowds and with his speeches declaiming non-humans. They say he worked miracles and showed his flock visions of a world destroyed by the white frost. He was undoubtedly a man of great charisma, one instilled with unshakable principles, which he in turn tried to instill in others. Was he truly a source? Was he indeed gifted with raw magic talent? That we will never know for certain. But we do. He pretty much was. Wow, little Alvin, all grown up. It is Alvin, 100%. You, you wouldn't be seeking an apprentice. He turned to a non-human racist, guys. Look, that's not anything on our parenting. We treated him perfectly well. Whenever he came to rush and see us, we didn't say to go away or anything. Letter to Ty Tylers. To Brother Tylers of Dornhell, or Dawn, Dawn, Dawndal, even Dawndal. Dear Tylers, or Tylers, or ta ta Tales, ta Tales, Tales, Tales. The guiding brethren of our holy con congregation have unanimously declared it's high, it high time one of our knights joined the lists of, Beauclair of the Beauclair Tawny. This is an event renowned the world over, and the lack of representative of our order is a glaring omission and casts a dark shadow on the, rep on the reputation of our order. Sadly, ever since the death of Brother Roderick DeWitt, oh! Mr. Mr. DeWitt, yeah, I didn't even mean that to be a reference. Mr. DeWitt, we, we were the one that killed him, right? Was, was that not in The Witcher 1, we killed Roderick Duet? See, I love how they bring back all the um, Witcher 1 and even like book stuff in the expansions. I really, really like it. it it's always fun. I mean, he, he was... Roderick Duet, um was not the greatest of guys, but whatever. Okay. Um, we have no worthy champion and our most skilled brother, Patrick of Ways, or Ways, has contracted scrofula, so fierce he cannot mount a horse even for a minute. We thus trust the choice to you, brother, which is natural in this situation. 
uh, will prove wise and you shall not betray the hope we have placed in you. Immediately upon receipt of this letter, go to the nearest branch of the Vivaldi Bank, where you will accept a transfer of coin in the amount of 784 crowns. These are your delegation funds. These are your delegation funds, which you are obliged to return in full, plus a 50% penalty if you do not take a place on the podium. Brother Adalbert, who, as you know, has taken on the role of specialist in the matters of the Order's view in the public eye, has calculated that a loss on the part of our representative, um, representative will cause more damage than not taking part in the tourney at all. So you understand our position. May the eternally flaming rose lie your path in, the, lie your path in this endeavor. Brother Ev Eva Evarista of Metina, first secretary of the order. Ooh. So they got little, we got loads of references there, like little little bits here and there. This is a nice note to find, you know? I mean, um, we, we uh, I'm hoping there's more stuff with the order in this. I can't even remember. Little Dewet reference, some Jacques de Olsberg references, some other members. Um, I don't want to ignite that. That sounds like a bad thing to do. Oh, I just stole a horse saddle. Roach, I got you a new, I cut you a new saddle. How, how good is it? Is it better? Oh, it is better. Sorry, a fairy saddle. You've been great. Roach, where are your new um, looks? Show me. Ah, oh, lucky you, Roach. You look amazing. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the armor on the neck. That's cool. I like it. Okay, Roach, that, that was good. That was good. I like it. I don't want to miss anything. There's a lot of stuff around here. Look, there's a little tent down here. Oh, is this the tent for the, the contract thing later on, I think? Yeah, it is, it is. I wonder if there's anything we can loot on just the back here. Looks like there's some flowers. Oh, look at that little plate. What's on there? I love all the detail. It's very good. Okay, right. I, I will get to the actual quest soon, guys. Just, I obviously, I love Toussaint. Been so long since I've been properly here. Oh, look at that. And just exploring is, is, is the best thing. And looting, of course. Many lootings will be had. A snack. Greetings. Vendor. Greetings. Oh, that looks like there's a an innkeeper here. I wonder if we can Gwent them. We'll get some Gwent games done. I think that'll be good. We'll take part in the tourney before we, you know, properly take part in the tourney. <gasps> there's a haircut guy over there. Should I go and get a haircut? Oh, I know I did literally just get like a makeover to come here, as we called it. Um, but I feel like now we're here and there is a hairdresser guy here. I would like to um. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to try out some hairstyle. Uh, uh, so. That would be awful. Imagine never removing like a helmet when you sleep and. It is right Ooh. and fitting, which. God, that puts a lot of pressure on you to win. I, I would hate to have to wear a helmet all year. I bet he takes it off sometimes. I, I actually have at this point. There's been a lot of traveling. It's nice to come here, though. This is definitely one of the nicer areas. As in just, um, to lounge around in. Also, lots of loot for me. Look at all this stuff we're getting, guys. We're replenishing supplies. Look, some unrefined copper. Exactly what I was looking for. So copper is something we haven't really had to use at all in the playthrough. In fact, it might have even been added in Tucson. I think it probably has. Give me that. Give me that. What's that? What's that on the table? Excuse me, innkeeper. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh Thus my god. Prophet, she has a German uh, accent. Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. You want to play any Gwen? Oh, she does. We're going to make another 50 crowns, guys. Be so kind as to show me what you have to sell. Oh, I bet she has the alcohol. Oh, she does. Everyone's got it. I can actually... It's cherry cordial, right? Yeah. I can probably make the thing if I get some more cherry cordial. Like all the potions. Um, not sure about the bombs. I'll need more herbs, I think. A round of Gwent, maybe? Okay. Oh, I also realized I will have to, um... 
I'll just play. I won't, like, talk about everything. Um, I will have to go back to, um, the, the Northern Kingdoms realms, Northern realms. I guess Northern either or. Uh, at some point, I tell you what, Triss is not brilliant. Just to, uh, oh, better than that, though. I will have to go back there at some point for the Afiri thing, because I want to enhance my Manticore armor there, I think. Because I'm going to be using that for the playthrough, and I'm going to, I'm not going to, like, need any upgrades for it. Also, obviously, I want to get all the uh, Grandmaster sets too while I'm here. I think at level 40 you can do that, so that'll be something I'll try and work on relatively early. Just to get that done. Because I'm already quite high level. Um, yeah, I'll get the Manticore armor as soon as possible, though. That's like the priority. Because that's like going to be my Tucson armor. I really like it. I might get the haircut like the Hearts of Stone style again, just because I think it works really well. I should really be putting the spies down just from the get-go. Um, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Right, I might just put Siri down. Then again. Honestly, I'd, I could just lose this round. Although I could put, like, Fring Fringila and... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna win. And I win, uh, draws, no? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. That'd be good. I think that was a good, uh, uh plan. Right. I said we just open strong again. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna save this, because we might get a better option soon. You never know. They might, like, buff them or... Ooh. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it's a little bit annoying, actually. Because now I can't... I probably should have, but I'm also like, uh... Okay, they're going to revive my spies. That's good. It's clever how they did that. I always find that very clever, because they know I'm... Well, actually, that's... I guess that's a relatively new tactic. The, the Gwen AI in uh, Tucson definitely seems better. Okay, what have we got here? Another decoy, maybe? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. So, we're actually getting quite a lot of cards out here. We're even now, in cards. Interesting, that's fine. Right, I'm just going to put my terrible cards down to make them play a bit. So I'm wondering what I can actually res here. I've got a 10 and a 6. So it might just be worth putting him down to get rid of a 9. Although, I could Scorch. I'm, I'm only going to kill the 10, though. I'm a dirt. I'm a dirt. Uh, I'm also going to Villain Tretemurth just because I can revive him. Are you going to revive another one of my spies? Well, that's fine. I will revive all their spies. Although I could just revive my... T do I have a 10 in there? I swear to God I had a... Yeah, I do. I do. You know what? I'm going to use one revive now. And I'm going to use this guy because it sets his strength to 1, right? Or does it just set everything to... Okay. I mean, there's nothing else I really need. I'm gonna use all these revives for the big the big cards, you know? Although, I could double this row here. And that's like another 15 they gotta deal with, isn't that? I'm doing it. Okay. This is fine, this is fine. I'm fine with skipping here. Oh, I won. <laughs> okay, I two crown them because I have the Nilf God. I look at look two draws in a row, but I you know, I two crown I get the ability, so that's awesome. That was actually a good Gwent game. Like that was harder than normal for sure. 
I think I'm going to go and get a haircut just because it's like an option here and it's kind of fun. You know, at the tawny. Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of grooming. I mean, I know we only re look at that guy. He looks he looks a proper barber. Look at him. I mean, we beard's got oh, the beard's fine, girl. I feel like I want to change the hair out. Should we try out a few? We'll use some of our Gwent winnings. Lo loose, not long. Long and loose. What does that look like? Oh, that's very Toussaint. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not going to use this hairstyle for now, but if, if we decide it's a good idea, maybe we can um, maybe we can use that one. I want to try out a few of these. Shaved at the sides, short on top, and a ponytail? What is that? Oh, Christ, Geralt. No, I'm sorry. No, we're not. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Loose, not, lo not too long. What does that look like? I'm curious. Look, we're just going to skip through this a bit. Uh, I don't just want to spend all my money here. I'm going to just do... I'm going to get the white plan. And I know I use this in Hearts of Stone, but I just really like it. And it feels like relatively summer style, like a little less heavy. Although, should we use the... um, Like, should we use the loose and lo uh, long and loose? I'd like to hear some opinions. That's the one where it's just like... It's the first one I clicked, which is the one in the Blood and Wine poster. Just, just in case anyone's wondering. Okay. And we can also Gwent him. I'm just going to Gwent him, sure. We'll try and win um, every Gwent game, Gwent. of course. Maybe we could play around. Oh, there, there he is. Should I try a different strategy? It's been a while. I could just quickly... Oh, look, we got a bunch of Skellige cards. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try and put a deck together. I will be... I'll probably skip it for you guys because it's just going to be annoying otherwise. Okay, so I have made the deck. It it looks like this. Um, you'll see the strategy as we go, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it out. Um, it's it. I hope this works. <laughs> There's not much you can really do with Scoia'tael, but I feel like this sort of works. So let's give it a go. Um, I'll let my opponent go first this time. Just just you know, that's that's the Scoia'tael faction perk. Quite cool. So, this is actually a decent hand for what I want to be going for. I've actually drawn all three special cards, which is kind of interesting. The least useful thing is a Commander's Horn at the moment. I could do with better cards. Um, you know what? I'm actually fine with this hand. I'm going I'm to get rid of him. You never know. Okay, I got Geralt, I think. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to open with the Spy, as is the usual tactic. Okay, I got my two reviving cards. So they're two ahead of me, and they have made the decision to skip. What I'm going to do is, I might put Yavin down, because I can revive him. Although, what is their ability? Shuffle all cards from each player's graveyard back. That is actually a really bad ability for me to have to deal with. Damn it. Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna win the round. I'm gonna win the round. I feel like it's stupid not to. Okay, now we have to just set up a bit. I might just stick down two 15s and make them play a bunch of good cards. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Then maybe just hard skip. tempted to do. Just like keep trying to put a bunch of cards down and make them play good cards. Okay, this is fine. I'm I might scorch now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. It's a little bit annoying. There's one ahead there. I don't really need him for the final round strategy, so I'm kind of fine with this. Okay, they're reviving that. Interesting. Because I, what I'm thinking is I could play one of these, right? Revive my six, be ahead, make him play more cards, and then I can always put that down in the next round and then revive into revive. 
I'm gonna do that, I think, because th there's no reason not to, really. God, this, this is annoying. They're just staying, like, one ahead. I could always just play all geared and then redraw him with the decoy. But then I can't... No, no, I can. I can still revive into this and then this. Although I would kind of like to decoy the Yavin. Because for some reason it decides just to stick him on the front row. You know what? I'm going to play um, Milva. And then I'm going to decoy her. Sorry, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that, that's fine. That was sort of expected. Right, yeah, there you go. See, that's kind of fucked me a bit. Although they only have one card, so realistically, what are they going to be able to do next time? I could just win now, to be honest. In fact, I might. I might just two-crown them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to win. There you go. I can still win with other decks, guys. It is just much harder. Yeah, that was way harder, but we did win. That was good. That was good. Okay, well, continuing with the actual game, and um, we got our, our old haircut back. <laughs> just just for the this part, I can always change it. I'll, I'll get some feedback on it from you guys, and we'll... um. Will discern. I'm honestly not sure myself. I just really like it. I feel like it fits the sort of summary thing. Although I do like the long and loose one. That's something we haven't really tried out before. Oh, information from for tournament participants. Dear fellow Gwent lovers, allow me to present myself, Count Monnier, the organizer of this Gwent tournament. As most of you, as you most probably know, I have introduced a new faction to our beloved game, Skelliger. I'm convinced this step shall add variety to our pastime, further perfecting its perfection. I shall be delighted if you choose to play this faction during our event. Good luck and good Gwent to you all. So we can just add a faction? I guess fair enough. I mean, there's more people we can Gwent here, guys, I'm just saying. I kind of want to do it while I'm here, because it does save me having to do it I later. A fresh set of shoes oh my goodness, mouth. it's Meep's Promptly. son! At your oh service, sir. Blah, blah. The racing model is one I recommend. Light, durable, and a mere 50 crowns a piece. I shall pay you double, provided they are ready today. That, this is the uh, prince, uh, the son of Meev, and she's the queen of Lyria and Rivia, or at least she was. Um, you know, back in the day. When it, well, I guess, yeah, you know, whatever. Remember the Camerlengo pays out a handsome reward for each hand you dispatch. How might I eat? Just, just be cool, man. In the corner, that's cool. Uh, uh, alias half-breed. Okay, interesting. What have you got? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Although I will take what you have. So there's some smiths and armorers here. I would like to Gwent them, but what I think I'll do is I'll have a look around the camp first to see if there's any other cool little notes and stuff, come back and Gwent oh. them, and then I'll get going with the actual quest, because I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, random stuff. Shut up, I, that is a name I do not go by. I'm going to check the tents for letters. Oh, hello again. We can always come back here, I think, if I happen to miss anything. Oh, it's that guy again. Oh! These are all red. Okay, interesting. I need to try and use the crossbow a bit more. I don't really ever do it. See, we're getting a lot of stuff here, guys. This is all good. This is all good. This will go into the funds. Look at that. Some fish and stuff. Ugh. Okay, let me, let me into that barrel. Um... Well, I f think there are more notes from what I remember that we can get and read, so I would like to read them now. I should probably just check all the tents. In tents. Delacroix's file. Oh, he's the guy that died, right? He's taking a third vacant broker. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, um, I read that very quickly. It's not really important. 
Crespi. Victim's body. Okay, so this was the Crespi guy. This was the other guy that died, apparently. Guardsmen recognized the deceased as Count Crespi. The body was found on hands and knees, propped against a pillory. Corpse was already in a state of rigor mortis, which could indicate Crespi uh, had undergone great physical exertion before death. More likely, the murderer waited for the post-mortem stiffening to set in, so the body would remain in the desired pose without the need for further support. Crespi died from wounds dealt by long claws. His own sword in its sheath was hung around his neck. He was clothed in attire which, uh, according to his servants, he usually donned for suppers. Lying on the cobblestones near the body was a five-pointed star made of gold. Nothing has been determined regarding its origin. And this, oh, this is that how that guy became Goyliant. We already heard the um, tale. We can read that at some point yet again. Is that a flaming rose shield? Why is he... Hmm. There's another note. Raymond de la, de, du, du Lux file. The Knights of the... Oh, so this is the other guy, I guess. The Knights of the Feast of S Saint N Nepomukin, Musin, whatever, two patrons exiting the Clever Clogs Inn came across a corpse lying in the gutter. Both witnesses, Xavier and Bruno, are known to the Ducal Guard as they have previously been convicted of petty theft. Seeing the highly unusual circumstances of the deceased's death, the witnesses informed the Ducal Guard and Guardsmen uh, arrived on the scene in short order. The victim was identified as Raymond de Dulac, a knight errant in the Ducal service. Sir Dulac was dressed in a nightgown and nightcap with a pillow placed under his head and a bed warmer placed in his hand. His clothing and the pillow had been soaked through by the gutter's con contents. Con contents. The victim perished as a result of being pierced through the heart by long claws. The blow was dealt with great precision. The guardsmen searched for any fragment of a five-pointed star near the body, as was found in the case of Count Crespi. Yet their search yielded no results. Witnesses Xavier and Bruno deny having taken any such item for themselves. Oh, well, this seems like an important tent. Is this the captain of the guards' tent? The Duchess summoned him. I wonder what for. I can hear you. I guess, you know, technically they would be really lightly whispering this, but because Geralt has his Witcher hearing, he can just pick it all up. Agreed. And last I think we've already been here. Do they, uh, have need of no, I'm not, I'm not. I don't want a, a squire, sorry. I'm going now. Ah, oh, see, there is more notes. I knew there was. Oh, sorry, there are more notes, I guess? Oh, a Tucson crossbow. Is that better than mine? It might be, you know. It is. Sorry, I've seen crossbow, but we're just gonna. Ooh, look at that. That looks sharp too. I like it. It kind of fits. And and say letter. That's Meve's son, right? Oh, dear sons, this must be from Meve. Judging by judging by your prolonged absence from the palace, I must conclude you have yet again rode off to join the Knights Tawny in Tucson, despite my asking you not to do so. Twice in a row, you beg coin from me for the journey, boasting with confidence you would win the tourney if you could um, but have a new horse, armor, and sword. Twice in a row I gave into your ple pleading. This year I forbade you from going, yet I see I merely rule my realm and not my own son. Enjoy yourself, but know that your monthly allowance ends today. No matter your place on the podium, I am sending a letter, I'm sending a messenger with this letter to Beauclair and trust he will find you there. Your loving mother, Meve. I mean, depending on how old this letter is, it kind of implies that that Meave is still in control of Rivia and Lyria. Although maybe it's a sort of similar situation to the whole Temeria thing with um, Nilfgaard, where they have their, their own sort of kingdom. It's sort of like Tucson, right? Although she wouldn't technically be a queen, unless she would be allowed to remain queen. That's confusing. There's not much information on this. It, uh, it could have just been sent because the Nilfgaard invasion all happened relatively quickly, right? It was the end of The Witcher 2 to now, and he could have honestly been traveling that long to get here, you never know. Although we got here pretty quickly. He could have been here a while, though. Invitation to the hare hunt. The hare's been up to all sorts of mischief. While the unicorn slept, he stole his horn. When the phoenix was away, he stole its egg, and he plucked the golden fish from the from King Cormorant's pond. Um, the Supreme Court of Creatures thus calls, called for a hare hunt, and that cowardly beast ran off as fast as he could, losing all his prizes along the way, and found himself a hiding place. Answer the court's call and head to the palace gardens to join the hare hunt. Recover all the hare's prizes, find the hare himself, and you shall receive your just reward. In the name of her illustrious highness at the Supreme Court of Creatures. This, that's, um... 
if you want to read this, we can, we, you can read it if you want. I'll just give you the... Oh, it's something about... The knight was summoned by the Lady of the Lake. Oh, okay, interesting. A lot of Lady of the Lake references. I think that's a big thing in Tucson. And obviously, we have actually met her, so... Uh, Guilamez scrap paper. Uh, oh, fair Vivi... Oh, this is the guy... But this is the guy from before. Oh, fair Vivienne, thou hast dove's eyes with, within their... Within their locks... Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet, crossed out. Thy two breasts are like jugs of milk, okay. Crossed out. Thy two breasts are like young rows that are twins, illegible line. Thy hands are like two white moons. When, oh, well, when, 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 oh, when shall thou glance at me? God, that is a... God, that, um, that was kind of sort of funny, wasn't it? Um, okay, well, we won't tell him. I'm pretty sure it's that guy, right, from before with, the, with Goliant. Sorry, I just don't like that little armor thing in the corner. Well, we've pretty much... Oh, hang on, I see... I just... I'm not sure. I think we've looted everything. Although, ugh, there are, there's always more tents, it seems. Oh, God, there's, there's more. There's more notes, guys. Look, i got to read the notes. It's important. We get more information about the characters from it. You know, we can be like, oh, that's that guy from that note. Short layer to Horn. Dearest, brother dearest, we wanted to send off a... Oh, God, I'm so bad. Brother dearest, brother dearest, we wanted to send off a few words to you to cheer your heart. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Emir of our Emres, Deathwen Adan Yen Ken Ep Morvud, who we have long suspected to be none other than our paternal brother, the never acknowledged fruit of our father's loins, has won the war, which, ha which has for so long stood between us and proper peacetime nightly entertainments. Redania is ours at last. Drink a sea of wine to that and kiss every beautiful lady you can grab. We didn't add our wishes for you to win that silly tawny, for that goes without saying, you will win, it's certain. Your loving brothers, Orm, Gorm, Torm, and Gonzalez. Well, that... I'm assuming the letter is different if we went for a different ending. Because, obviously, Redania is not necessarily taken by Amir. That's interesting. Is there a note in here? Or have I already got the note in here? I'm just going to assume every tent with its own coat of arms is a... Um, is is going to have something that we can read in. Although I feel like I've looked in most of them now. I'm assuming this is an Anseis tent, which we've already been in, because I think that's the Lyrian flag. It is the Lyrian flag. Flag. That flag. I'm like 90% sure. That's the Order of the Flaming Rose tent. Ooh. So that's the armor we got for Roach, I think. Right, well, we can come back here if we did miss anything. Uh, I'm sure, because the Tawny is like an ongoing thing, right? I'm sure this place will be open for a while. But I think we got everything. I think we got everything. Let's do these two Gwent games. We'll do it with our new Scoia'tael deck, and then we will carry on. The reason I don't cut out the Scoia'tael and all the Gwent and stuff is because you can just skip it, and people might not like it, but you just tap the screen or whatever you want to do to forward it, and um, I feel like it's fine. Armor chromed, engraved or fluted, whatever your heart's desire. Show me what you got there. Craft something for me? Do you care for a round or two of Gwent? We're gonna make so much money off this, although we did spend a lot on haircuts. No, you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? Over here. They always are. They always are. Uh, I'm gonna let them go first. I feel like it's always better to not go first. Could be wrong. Don't think it really matters. Gives me options to scorch him, right? Oh, God, I don't know. Commander's Horn is not that useful. Useful, but there probably are better cards. It's about the same, isn't it? That was Yavin, by the way. Remember him? Witcher 1. Okay, we're going to open with the Spy. Let's just get this done quickly. It's nice to try out these new decks a bit. Okay, and this is why you always keep a decoy, guys, especially when you're playing Nilfgaard. I might lose to this. This is Nilfgaard. This is Spy Central. Although I do have some reviving cards, so if I get those, like, I'll be, uh, I'll be fine. Okay, I got, I got one. Right. What is it? Is it over ten, right? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for now. Because 12 is not really enough to warrant a whole use of him, I feel. 
I'm just, I just like banging down the 15s as soon as possible. Just get like a very high score, and they because it, it forces the AI to like just play all their high cards because they think, oh, they're trying to get a really high lead on me, so I got to play everything. Right, are you saying we go Triss? Okay, I'm gonna villain Tret and Mirth and skip, I think, just because I might not get a better option. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Right, time to skip. Christ. Was that his reviving card? Okay, so we're gonna open with... I actually wanna just open with the 10. And then I can do the spies at a later time. Probably be better to save it for the last round, if anything. Okay, what spies did he give us? Give us a lot of spies. If I give him the four, he gets an eight, doesn't he? I mean, that puts him ahead of me. Okay, now I can revive the spy. Although I don't really want to give him the option for it. I'd rather, like, just play, like, this guy or something. What was that? That was a, a reviving card, right? Shit. You know what? I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. It's quite a big boost to him, though. Okay. If I give him the 7 now, he gets another 14, right? which is not what I want to do. Damn it. See, he skipped because he knows he can revive that card, which is a little bit annoying, but... Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I got, I got some good strats here. Step one is this. Okay, this is good, this is good. So now we just don't want to play anything, really. So they, they're getting more and more cards back. But surely... The, how many... Goddamn... Okay, this is still fine. Ah, there you go. That's all your cards done, isn't it, mate? Well, now I'm, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to show him his boss, because he really annoyed me this game, you know? So we're going to start with this. We're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. His ability cancels mine. That's a bit annoying. Probably... Oh, I put him in the wrong place, but it's fine. Boom. There you go. Right, actually, I'm curious what he sells. Um. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. And he has... Oh, my God. Look how much stuff... Okay, I'm going to have to, like... Oh, there's so much, guys. There's so much. Do I have to buy all of this at some point? I can probably buy it now, but um, I'll wait. I might end up getting more of it as loot. Craft something for me? Look, got this diagram. Interesting. I wonder what level of crafting they can do. I'm assuming not master. No, they can't do master crafting. That just shows you how skilled the other people were. So... I got nothing, I got nothing. Armor chromed. I thought you got a bit of Dalek with this guy. Maybe not, maybe it's the swordsman. Damn right. Watch where oh, you're sorry, the armorer even. Right, last guy to talk to before we um we actually get going with the quest. We spent a bit of time now just messing around looking at stuff. It's been nice. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. 
I mean, he's not wrong. I want to see what he's selling. What have you got there? Okay, he, this guy has a lot of gold and he has a lot of cool looking swords. I could sell some to him, like this one. I don't really need it. It's also worse than mine. Yeah, I'm just going to sell that to him. I don't want it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we just want some Gwent. This is the final Gwent thing, and we'll go and do the rest of the thing. Care for a quick round of Gwent? And then it's a lot of main mission, I think. Pretty much one after another. Yeah, it is actually. So this will be the last thing for a while. We'll do Scorotel again. Scorotel was always my original, like, favorite Gwent faction. I'd like to make a monster thing. Is that is that a thing in this? I think it is. Let your opponent start. Uh, yeah. We'll set up a monster deck as well. I feel like I've proven I can beat people on Scorotel. Um, probably better to keep the archer that actually will just revive in their best place. Okay, we got a pretty good start here. We don't have a single spy, which might be a problem. But what we'll do is we'll open with just like a really strong start. What? Oh my god. Right, well, we won. But. Hmm. This is where we make them play everything they have that's good. We don't have the greatest hand here, I'm gonna be honest. It, it could be better. Like, this hand is actually awful. Like, this hand is really bad. I might have to skip. Although, it'd be worth playing both of these, and maybe even him now. I'll play her first. I don't want to- I'm going to play this guy, because I think if I try and revive him, he goes on, like, my, my front row. I got a skip. Annoyingly. Okay, they've got two cards on me. It feels a little bit bullshit. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Okay. I'm gonna revive my siege thing just to maybe bait out the uh No, okay. I wonder if they might have a scorch or something. Okay. We actually won, I can't believe we won. Oh my god, they they had two spies off the bat. I had none. That was that was close. See, spies do win, guys, a lot of the time, but um you also have to have like a relatively competent strategy still. Like it's not just spies. Spies is a big part, but it's not just spies. Keep calm. I think we've looked in all of these areas now. Okay, let's continue. What are you doing? I'm just walking through, okay? You walked into me. I was just okay. Listen. God, right, okay, should we go and Oh, that time to talk. Oh, not always. Did you not? Well, he didn't. I mean, we did, but sure. Um, I guess we're- I guess we're gonna have a chat then. Let's go. Hello. Need to speak to the Duchess, urgently. All right, you scamps. Story's done. Go find your parents. But the Pomerin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale's for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, 
the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Okay, I'm just saying, we, we were the one that defeated it. They did nothing. <laughs> he took a tiny bit of chunk of, uh, like a tiny little chunk of the health off before we got there. But we did, we did basically all of it. Um, yeah, virtue always triumphs. No, no, no. The stronger always wins. No, no. Not always, but it's worth being good. You know what? I think that's the best answer. I think that's the best answer. I do like the Viper Army, you know? I like the little scales and stuff. See that on the uh, on the breastplate? So cool. Okay, right, yeah. Not always, but it is worth being good. I think that's the answer, for sure. At least that I'd go with. Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins. Sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and Story, think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. A rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. As you will soon see. Someone's gonna fight a Shalemar? With only some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down? Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. A shale mar, huh? That's another new monster for us to uh, see. We've seen two so far today: Scurvers and shale mars. And I guess Brooks are three. God, God, there is a lot of in the uh, star, isn't there? Whole thing's dangerous. Shouldn't torture it like that. Nothing's the matter. I don't think they should torture it like that, really. I know that might sound like, oh, whatever. But I'm like, well, you know, imagine imagine having bells strapped to your, your, your backside and then thrown in a cage. And it's like, oh, but it's an animal and all that. But I'm like, oh, well, you know, to just use that as an excuse for they don't feel is, is, is not right at all, I feel. Right, shouldn't torture it like that. That's what I think. Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena, blindfolded with a string of bells dangling from your ass? Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. Who face? Who will face the Shale Mar? Let's go see the Duchess. Yeah, I'd like to know actually. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah, mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Guillaume, that's how you say his name. That does not look like how they spell it at all, like phonetically. G Guillaume. It's like G it's like G-U-I-L-L-A-M-E or something. Like G Guillaume. It's Guillaume, okay. Um let's go see the Duchess, yeah. Let's go. My imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Damn it. 
Okay, um... Oh. Gotta keep it down. See, this is what happens when normal people try and go one-on-one -on -one against monsters. And it just doesn't work. I mean, this thing is pretty deadly, to be fair. I didn't see it doing any of this stuff, but it was... Oh. Okay, go, go, go. Get poison, get poison. Come on. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got the poison off. Okay, cool. Of the beast has been weighed by the oh, hey, I'll, I'll leave him away from you, sorry. But that is very hard to avoid, I'm just saying. Maybe I need to do some rolling. I'm gonna try and roll out of the way. Okay, it kind of works. Hang on. There's a sword. You see it? That's cool. Poison? Poison? No. Okay. It's fine. Go on, try again. You can't avoid it. It's... Oh. Maybe you have to be, like, closer... Like, further away from it. Honestly, this is working, though. I'm not too bothered. It's, like, stuck. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, Pal Palmerin. He has the, the defense of a god, apparently. Right, let's go. Go, go, go. Is it not down now? None of that, none of that, none of that. Right, roll. Come on, roll. Roll! Oh, there you go, I finally avoided it. Oh, okay. Although it didn't hit the wall. Oh, poison. Oh, okay, this, this is good, this is good. This might be the end. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I might even get it with a... Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. That Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Uh, no, I'm gonna spare it. I, I feel like we defeated it. It's no longer a threat. You know, let's let's just carry on. Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Garrett the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast! Lat came damned close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Geralt, we must talk. Vivian, you shall talk later. In the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly... That entrance, so spectacular. There she is, Anna Henrietta. Did they kill it? Ugh. A fight against a Shelma. A Shale Shelma, whatever, Shelma. Arranging something like that for sport, bad idea. It is not the best idea. Your Grace. 
Shale Mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Mm, I mean, he didn't he didn't defeat it, though. I don't like this Gu Guillermo or whatever. Gu Guillermo, I don't say his name. Guillermo. Guillermo? Something like that. He's taking all the credit for our kills, guys. Like, we, we killed Go Go Goliant. We killed the Shalemar. Shalemar. And they're talking about how he's getting all the glory for it. We don't need glory, we're a witcher, but I, I don't like the idea of someone else getting the glory for our deeds, you know? This is like a dandelion situation. I see why dandelion enjoys it here so much, guys. I'm actually seeing it more and more. <laughs> right, about the contract. Your Grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But wherever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. <sighs> yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with his tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Greetings. Sorry to have to tell you, the Brooks have killed some guardsmen. Um, gonna need two things, information and access to a laboratory. Okay, well, we'll make the demands in a moment. But, uh, well, you know, it's to help out. It's gonna save them. We're gonna help them out. I like this hair. I really do. I think it suits Geralt quite a lot. Um, or quite well. Um, I'll just quickly say, just for some background information, Geralt did come here in the books with his, like, group at the time. There were little spoilers for the books. They were searching for Ciri. And on their way, they ended up in Tucson. I believe it's because there was some, uh, some... Oh, sorry, I'm almost burping. Uh, <laughs> there were some druids that Regis was sort of leading them to. And they ended up in Tucson. They were running away from, like, people pursuing them and stuff, too. So it's a whole thing. Not not exactly important. Long story short, they ended up in Tucson on their journey. I think Geralt was with his group, which would have been Angulime, Kahir, Milva, Dandelion, and Regis. And I'm pretty sure that's everyone that was in the sort of group at the time. And then they met Fringilla here. And Fringilla Vigo, who you might remember, is Anna Henrietta, the person on Geralt's left's cousin. Um, and they were basically, like, allowed to stay in the sort of main area, you know, live pretty well. Um, be you know, in, in Beauclair Palace, all that. Because, uh, because Dandelion was good friends with, well, basically lovers with Anna Henrietta. And I'm pretty sure that explained that pretty soon. So it's not exactly important, but Anna Henrietta had a husband, I think his name was Raymond, and uh, Dandelion sort of was, let's just say, uh, sort of with her while she was married at various points. And then he was given a death sentence, and then he fled, then they came back and found out he was dead, and this was when they came back with Geralt. Um, and all that other stuff, like with the death sentence and that, that was like prior to, that's not like an event we have in the books, it's just something we're told about. Um, so long story short, the last sort of interaction with Toussaint Geralt had is when he had to leave to search for Ciri. He just sort of left with his whole group. Dandelion stayed, but then later on the books on the way back, um, Dandelion had also basically been removed from Toussaint. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll discuss all that. I don't want to tell you everything, but that's the basics of it. So, sorry to have to tell you, our Brooks have killed some guardsmen. Sorry to have to tell you, 
with the guardsmen handling the last victim's body? I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. Okay, I'm gonna need two things, information and access to a laboratory. I tell you, Anna Henrietta's character has been made so well. Like, look at that, that's just like such a cool, like well-designed character, like very defined. Okay. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something, need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien? We settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past, definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Yes. <laughs> no, not always. Uh. Yeah, not always is probably the best answer here, right? Because you don't... It really depends. It depends on the situation. It depends who the... If, if it was like... If, if she said to me, Okay, Geralt, we will give you anything. Then I suppose he would probably have to invoke it. Uh, at least that's sort of the, the classic thing. But I don't think there's like a, a cut and set rule that he has to. I think it's just something they invoke at times. They're like, okay, I'm going to just invoke the Laura Surprise. I don't know what I want, really. So I'll just go with that. It's sort of like, you know, if, if it's like a really rich person, maybe you'd be like, oh, I want a lot of money just immediately. But but um, if it's someone that you've just helped out, maybe then you just sort of invoke that. I think it's sort of, you should probably invoke it. But not always. Not always is the best answer, I think. Although, yes, it might be quite funny just to try and trick her a bit. But you know what? I think not always. I'm going to be honest. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of Surprise. It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. But uh, Corvo Bianco, isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery's bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Okay, I'm just thinking, sorry, just for another little bit of law. Okay, we, by the way, getting a vineyard, amazing, just saying. Geralt's gonna have some new... That's like the best thing we have ever got ever from anything. This is a contract to kill a seemingly some sort of some sort of thing associated with vampires. We don't know, guys. We don't know, okay? Um, and we got a vineyard. That's cool. But um, I'll just say that I'm wondering how her and her husband, her previous husband, actually ruled Tucson. Is it like they ruled together or she ruled? But I get the impression that he was the one that was ruling because he ordered for Dandelion to be killed and she didn't really do anything. Or maybe there's like a- I remember hearing a line ages ago about how like, 
if you win the the tawny, because I think the tawny of Toussaint used to be used as a way to like pick the next suitor, at least for Anna Hemrette's grandmother or something like that. I, I haven't done Toussaint lore in a long time, at least looking at it. Um, so maybe like you have like a thing where both people rule and then they rule half of Toussaint each or something. I don't know, but well, she rules it now anyway. Okay, Beast's first victim. What do we? We actually got some notes earlier about this, but yeah. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast-goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Hmm. Okay, second victim. Tell me about him. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned... cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, the victims are both older knights. Okay, right. So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinci. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Okay, similarities between the victims seem to be more and more of them. That does, so they're all old knights with sort of a shady background, seemingly. Like, relatively shady. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the- Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor and compassion. Why those virtues exactly? Exactly. Um, okay, I'm surprised. Do you know what would be cool if Geralt brought up the coroner contract at some point? Because it sounds very similar to that. 
Like the 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 circumstances as well, you know, of all the deaths and stuff. Right, let's hear. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? A strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Tusa, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Okay, makes sense. Right, beasts denouncing moral decay. It does sort of seem like that. They're sort of picking each of these um, tenants or things, um, and they are they're sort of trying to do something similar. So, yeah, interesting. Okay. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... What's that mean, a team? They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Right, we need to find Milton. Oh, Milton's the guy that, he's the one that took us here, isn't he? We've known him for, well, he's, we've known him for a little while now in Tucson, since the start of the part, pretty much. <laughs> Right, let's, let's, let's go and find him. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Your Grace! <gasps> what the hell? Why, I should. Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Oh, 
Okay. Right, right in it. Okay. Right, let's go. Okay, she's a little bit further ahead. Right, it's got progressively later and later. It is now evening. We've got to go and save um, Milton. Is that his name? Yes, I think his name is Milton. And we will do it. I, 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 it does look amazing. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. I mean, we need to find those things too. We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. Makes sense. Nothing I would to like to look you. around the party no. a bit, and I will, but um, I am still obviously going to help. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Well, I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden unicorn? Uh, golden horn? <laughs> if you uh, fish. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Gannett. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. I think she is like secretly, well not even secretly, I think she's enjoying this. Right, okay, we gotta find this. I mean, well obviously we gotta have a look around the party first, right guys? I hope I don't miss ah. anything, because this is gonna be difficult to come back to. I'm sure I could just slip something in the, um... How is it the Duquesa does not fear him as well? Do you seek someone? Um, I'm gonna follow Anna Henrietta. I wanna see what she does. Then we have to look by the water. No nooks there where one could hide. Those are our orders. All is in order! Oh, yeah, yeah, they're like, everything's fine. So they're the people that were ordered, I'm assuming, by Damien. Is the games you are liking, ladies? Aren't we not curious, Samson? I'm just curious where she's going to go and what she's going to do. I think she goes and talks to some people or something. I don't want to miss anything here, but I probably will. But, you know, it happens. My dear subjects, lend me your ears. Now! You have no need for a servant? Wow, you are literally disobeying her. He's like, oh, I don't want to do that. You must all spread out and penetrate the area and bring me the phoenix egg. But oh, Chris, I ask you nicely. Hop, hop. Do this for me. The time to explain will come later. Okay. Fair enough. So, what have we got to do? We got to we got to loot everything, right? Yeah, yeah um, I mean unicorn and fish. Yeah, I mean, yes. We got we got stuff to do. I want to have a look around first though, you know? There's a lot of festivities <laughs> going on. Obviously, we're in a bit of a rush, and I will admit it. Let us. But this stuff here. Look at this. It's a weird little our like, entrance. Enter Duke Raymond's ah. such troubles were simply unimaginable. So Duke Raymond was her husband, but she's the daughter of the previous Duke, I think. Isn't isn't surely she is? Do you know, I can't actually remember. I, I think she was though. I think her dad was the previous Duke, so maybe she got married and then the the who she got married to took over? Or maybe they ruled Oh, I just got some good stuff. Hey, shut up. Listen, I'm I'm just looting. Yeah, and I, I am doing the um, the the important thing to save Milton's life. I just have a few things to do first, all right? There's, there's a lot of important things that must be done before we can go and find the hare. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Thank you, thank you. I will find all the loot. Got it. It's very dark in, like, bits with no light. Oh, there's the unicorn. Should I just go get the unicorn? 
think? I'll get the unicorn. I'm gonna be very careful. Must keep a keen eye. Unicorns are thought to like music. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Okay, well, I am I think we have to give it the apple, but I want to get the sweets, because I think that sounds funny. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Roach won't eat bread either, except if it's stale. That's bread. What is this? Roach likes carrots. Maybe unicorn will too. Where are the sweets? I would like to get the sweets first. There are sweets now. I think so. Oh god, it's just so hard to see anything. This is... Bread, carrots... Maybe like further down? Ah, there you go. Think unicorns. Rainbows, little <laughs> girls. Sweets maybe. I'm taking the cake. Okay, so we got some, we got some cake. Cold game's not likely to tempt a unicorn. Cold game, and I think that must be the apples up there, although it's hard to tell, I, I will be honest. I also can't run. Oh, it's because I'm holding- I'm holding the cake. Uh-huh. Unicorn, you want some cake? Oh my god. I can't see anything. It's very dark in this bit, huh? Damn, doesn't have a sweet tooth. Damn. Right, Geralt, we better eat the cake. Okay, well, I knew that was going to happen, alright? I'm curious if the carrots will work. Although I... Oh, God, can I just get this cake off? Ugh. Ugh. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck off, cake. <laughs> okay, magic lamp. Okay, oh, I just click RB, I think. Oh, whoops. How do I... Can I put away the magic? Okay. Right. Okay, I think there's apples. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. Yeah, a ripe apple is probably a pretty good idea, Geralt. I kind of just want to... Oh, I probably shouldn't. Should I? Oh, God. Just let me put the apple away. Hang on. Right, apple's back out. Come on, uh, apple. Roach 2. Yum, yum. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Oh, yeah. Let's ride our unicorn roach or roach, too. Look, obviously, we have proper roach. Roach cannot find out about this, but let's go. You know, every horse is roach to Geralt, so this will also be roach. God, still handles about as well as roach. What's going on up here? I see a light. Take it easy. Fire eater? Who invited it? Dust upon Mount Bortz's slopes by a she dragon of our own teeth. Flames do him no harm. Nonsense. And tasteless to boot. Come, down. No. That's kind of mean. I, I, we have plenty diary of the fire swallowers. Oh, I'll watch, man. Don't worry. I want to go back to the circus. Oh. That's big man. The fool's not out. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, it's uh, all right, man. I, I appreciate you. Don't worry. Oh God, what's happening? I imagine you've been all over the world. I have. That's that's true. That's a good assumption. Um, what are you doing? There's like some trees. I just want to look at everything, you know? Oh. You 
Okay, so there's something here. I think we. Go, this is go. where Anna oh no, Henrietta was, right? God, I, I'm, I'm getting. Oh. I, I'll ride the unicorn because it is a unicorn, but I'm still. It's, 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 it's testing me. Okay, so here she is doing all the work, as you know, you'd think. Although I'm not exactly the. Maybe I'll, I might go and get those carrots from four. Have you noticed all the guards men in the gardens? Yeah, I'll go get them. I'm gonna go get these carrots. I'm taking you carrots. This is an go, go. They're mine. Guys, I got the carrots. Do I now keep that like quest item? That's kind of funny. Um, right. Well, I'm gonna assume there's more more things to look at while I'm here. I'll go down in like layers. Oh, then I'll go get the fish. Oh, a greenhouse. This is cool. Look at this. It's quite a cool place. Can I go in? It's locked. It's annoying. Stay there, Roach 2. I want to have a look in this greenhouse. It's very dark in there. You, you, you can't really see much. Let me in the greenhouse. Damn it. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. Let's have a look. See anything else? Oh, Christ. Yeah, they do, they do. Oh, we're just, we're just here. Come on. Anything down here? Oh. Roach, please. Go, go. Roach 2, you're being weird. Take it easy. Okay, so there's some knights here. We're getting pretty close to the city. We should probably head back. What exactly do you do here? I'm move trying it. to make the horse move quickly. That's what I do. I haven't really seen much, you know. There's, there's not as much going on here as I thought. Pay you well, uh, yeah, I got a Enough vineyard for doing nothing. <laughs> God, I, I I might have to ditch Roach 2 here, guys. This is this is starting to test my patience a bit. Oh, are we back here again? Yeah. I think we've seen pretty much everything. I'll go check down by the shore. I mean, we've got to go get the fish anyway, right? We've already got the unicorn. Well, we got the clue off the unicorn. We also got the unicorn. What is this? What is that? Is that like a leopard or something? Behold, the leopard it is a leopard. Far away Zeracania. A predator wild, bloodthirsty and ferocious. Beauty and grace embodied in murderous sport. Like nothing else. A splendid beast. So fierce. It's very cool. Can I walk next to it? What happens if I try and scare it? Will it kill me? Can I try and scare it? I'm going to make a... Right, we're gonna just for science. What happens if I try to axe it? No one cares. Odd. Okay. Well, nothing seems to happen. Look, calm down, guys. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. Look, I walk back down, look, they're fine with me. It's like, hey guys, what's going on? It was me, the guy that did the fire and stuff. Okay, no one cared. Right, let's go get this fish. I've messed around enough. <laughs> um, I think I've looked at everything. If I missed anything, I'll come back. Oh god, I'm getting off the... Right, Roach 2, you can just go there for five minutes. Ooh. Ah. Hello. Work doth one ennoble. Oh, shut up. Doth one Quite a cool place, though. Right. So I'm assuming. What happens if I try and take him the basket of carrots? Move it. Did I like fuck up the quest by doing that? It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't tell me, man. 
Did someone just dive in the water? I did, Perhaps I did do that. That's the way to do it. Sure. If you're a peasant. Yeah, sure, whatever. But I'm gonna win. Right, I see something here. It's a bit of candy. It's nice. I see something else. It's um it's a bit of toffee, okay. Uh I'm gonna guess it's that one over there. It's always the one that's furthest away. Oh, unless it's this one. God damn it. Okay. Let's go get it. Well, look, guys, we got all the sweets now. It's good. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithi cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb botched wretch! He's ruined the game! Disgraceful! I mean, I did do that. I, I did do that. Well, look at that. Look at when you don't, like, touch the... I just left the control. I want to hear what they said. When you don't touch the thing, it just sort of shakes a bit. It was weird. Okay, well, we got everything. Are you guys good? How you doing, man? This is an outrage. But calm down, guys. It's just a game. Don't cry, dear. Right, the I'm Duchess going. Will hear of this. <laughs> Swim away. God, do I still have to take the basket of goddamn carrots? I don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters. I, I, I'm keeping the carrots. They're mine now. I already got the horse on my side. I just picked up the carrots for fun. Okay. Realize I haven't looted much, but we can come back. We can come back. Hey, the leopard's still there. I have to hold the leopard many a time. Okay. Well, I think we've seen everything this place has to offer. Yeah, that guy's still sad. It's quite a nice little party. I like it. God, it's quite far up, isn't it? Okay, pretty much there. Um, hmm. Okay. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Uh, in a cave in the palace pantry. It's a greenhouse. Someplace cramped. Got no idea where Milton's hiding. I'd like to say that because that'd be kind of funny, but I think you only get one option here. And I'm pretty sure it's a greenhouse. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. Then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Grown. Hollow. Grown. I mean, it. God. Let's see. Grown. With ease gives us green, right? And mouse with a head of hard cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius. 
several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed, but only one of the burned locks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is, then. Let's go. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxa who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Oh, there he is, guys. Uh, conversations about me, many, none. I'm actually pretty confident with saying none. I've been pretty good at the whole not killing, you know, monsters that are nice. <laughs> like, I, I really don't think I've actually killed any. You could say the vampire in the coffin, but he did attack me. You know, I wanted to ask some questions, and he was just not having it, and he decided to attack me. I've never, like, instigated a fight with a with a good monster, I feel. At least in the Witcher 3 playthrough. I can't say for 2 and 1. It was, it was a bit different back then, but I don't, I don't think I have, you know. Um, I'm going to say none. I really don't think I have cut down any. I don't think Geralt kills monsters that are um, good. I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've put one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? No. I intend to live <sighs> happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> They keep his face pretty well hidden, huh? Oh, up until that point when, when you see his, um, fat face. Right. I don't think I even need one for this. The vampire oil can go a long way. Um, hang on. Oils, oils, oils. It's the red one, right, surely? Oh, there they go, purple, whatever. All right. Okay, we're on the defensive. Yeah. Uh, this 
very good at parrying. I don't know if I can parry him, and I don't really want to try it. I'll, I'll try it, I'll try it. Oh, I can! That makes this easier. To stay where you were. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... We... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. 
Oh, Regis. I absolutely love Regis. I, I can't believe it. He's here. He's sitting right there. God. You know, I always um, I always have like a debate with myself. I'm like, because I, I really used to like a Yorvith for the longest time. Because, I you know, I like Lord of the Rings and Legolas. Always used to remind me of him. Really liked Yorvith. Still do. It would be great if he was in the game. If he was in Witch 3. But Regis, I... I, I feel like I might even like him more. I, I think Regis is just awesome. He's one of my favorite characters, 100%. Maybe even favorite, like, side character. But Yorveth is, you know, it's hard. It's a hard decision. Um, although there are some really cool other side characters, like Deekstra and stuff, so, you know. And obviously, I guess, Roach. <laughs> although I would say Roach is lower than, you know, like, the, those, like, sort of uh, Regis and Yorveth for me. Um, not the horse, I mean, um, you know, the Temerian soldier basically. No, I'll just quickly say, although I'm pretty sure they explain it very soon, so a little bit of spoilers for the Lady of the Lake Witcher book, but um, Regis basically got killed towards the end of the book, at least in the books. If you go by the books, he was killed, but obviously they changed that a little bit in the games to have it that he was sort of just incapacitated to a point where he needed someone else to help him, but um, basically he went on this sort of weirdy rampage thing he was traveling with Geralt they ended up in I always forgot to say it. it's like Stigger Castle right it's not Strigger Castle it's like Stigger Castle something like that and it was where Vilgefortz was and there was this whole thing with Siri. I don't want to spoil too much I'm trying to be careful here but um uh Regis went on this sort of crazy vampire-y rampage-y thing as like this bad thing-ish it was weird and um he uh, he got killed by Vilgefortz. Vilgefortz managed to kill him. He sort of turned him into this pu puddle of... So puddle, pool, whatever, of all ooze. Mel melted him into like a columny thing. Um, just blasted him with this incredibly powerful spell. And that was the end of Regis. But obviously he's fine now. And they'll explain all of that now. Which would be really cool. Right. Killer I'm hunting. Seems you know him. What brings you back after all these years? How do you regenerate? Yeah, let's let's hear about this. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. Okay. What brings you back after all these years? Killer I'm hunting, seems you know him. It does seem he knows about it. I'd like to know what he's been doing. What brings him back? So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... <clears throat> How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. What good reasons could he possibly have? How can you be so sure? Don't give a damn about his motivations. I'd like to know how he can be so sure. I think it's a little bit uh, dark in the game, isn't it? But I think that's part of it. I, as I say, Tucson is just a very dark place, but you can I, th I can see it pretty well. Okay, how can he be so sure? Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Hmm. Why'd Detlaf kill the monster? Why tell me this? Any reason? I want to know why Detlaf did it. I just want to know. <sighs> Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda, hunting the beast. 
You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Interesting. I tell you, I'm curious, because if... Well, obviously, Detlaf regenerated him. I wonder when... Because didn't did the lodge not destroy Stigger Castle where Regis was um, killed basically? It must have been between then, I suppose. Maybe he found the column he was sort of melted into. I guess that could happen. Um, hmm. I wonder because I thought it was completely destroyed. It must have been before they destroyed it, I guess. Right? Maybe he sensed Regis had died or something, and and um, her, maybe he was near, just happened to be nearby, sensed the presence of a higher vampire having been sort of obliterated almost, and decided to help. Right, any idea what could have angered him? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Right, we gotta find him. Yeah, Regis, been a great conversation. I look forward to having more conversations in the future. You're a great character. The Geralt-Regis pairing, I think it's great. It's such a cool thing. But yeah, we gotta find him. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem! <clears throat> Sirs! We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Well, there you go. Oh, music. Okay, it's fine. Interesting. Ah, oh, character entry added immediately. Immediately, just. Uh, I, I don't really want to read all these, but let's have a look. Hey, it's basically what just happened. There he is. Oof. Okay. Well, let's let's get everything in here. Oh, hard leather. That's good. 
purchasing brief. Toy inventory. That's interesting. Hmm, that's really interesting, actually. Because that sort of ties in later, right? The toy thing? I'm not going to say in what way, but... Okay. Let's carry on. No, that was all very interesting. Uh, love letter. I'll read this. My beloved Clara, you have no idea how happy I am that the warehouse is being closed. How good it is to know each time we wish to embrace that no one shall stand in our way. Neither my father nor your mother. I shall never occur... Um, it shall never occur to them we rendezvous in this shuttered warehouse. I already laugh at the thought of them clambering over rooftops like before or looking through the rushes by the river. Even now, writing these words, I feel how much I would like to see you. I hope it will be like yesterday. I cannot speak for you, but as for me, I would love just as well we never set foot out of this, our warehouse, our wonderland. Lovingly, your Albert. Oh, well, that's, that's nice, I guess. Hey, more stuff. Hang on, is there more stuff up here? God, it has been a long old day for us in Tucson. We've arrived here, we explored a little river, we fought a Bruxer, we went to a tawny, we explored the tawny, we went and did the thing with the sh sh shale, shale mar, sh shale mar, shale mar, I don't know, the thing. God, that was intense. I mean... Oof. What I think I'll do now is I'll, um, I would be interested, god, it's, god, it's like the next day, we need to go have a rest. Um, what I want to go and do is I want to go and see, um, Anna Henrietta, just to get, see if there's any dialogue with her, because I'm pretty sure I know where she Got is, it. I'm just What's curious. And then I want to oh. go and do this mission, and then I think I'm going to stop for today. Yeah, I'd like to just have a quick chat with her, you know, see what she's saying and all that. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back in the uh, the gardens. I guess this is fine. We can make our way up from here. Sir de Pirac, oh, Beauclair is so awesome. So Look where we are, guys. I know, I'm just... I keep saying it, but... I finally made it. Oh. Hello. I feel bad about yes, that guy that died. I can't remember his second name now. I had so much difficulty saying it before. Oh, I actually just yes, realized. I remember you seeing something like glowing on the floor in the other greenhouse. I'm going to go get that first. Oh. Just before I forget. Yeah, it was in here, right? Oh, oh, it's his mask. What does it look like? I wonder if I still have that carrot thing. Uh, I don't think so. No. Oh my god, I do. I have the I have the bundle of carrots from before. Nice. Oh god, that is terrifying. Oh, Geralt, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm taking it off. Reminds me of one of those Bioshock masks. Right, I'm gonna go head up and see Anna Henrietta, guys. I'll skip to when it's, like, necessary, because I've already seen all this. Oh, but look at it. So cool. This place is cool. Uh. Okay. Well, you know, I, I probably just carry on from where I just went in there. Yeah, I'm I'm heading up now. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Should I get on Roach? Roach? I mean, the people here seem to be relatively nicer than in the Northern Realms. I will say that. Right, we can canter up. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. This is nice. Oh, look at the view. Oh. God. We're going to have to do some uh, exploration, guys, for sure. Like, a lot of exploration. This place is amazing. Look at Roach's new saddle. We haven't really looked at it much. It's quite nice, I think. We get a different one, but... Take it easy. Oh, we got a marker up here. That probably would have been easier to travel to. Okay, well, I, I think she's here, right? I just want to have a quick chat with her. If there's anything else we can chat to her about... Ah, there she is. Patrolling on an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. Yes, Gera? Wanted to talk. That is, if it's no bother, Your Grace. Why ever would it be? I'm listening. What is it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll talk about this. You meet Dandelion. How'd you meet? Don't mean to pry, Your Grace, but... 
Curious how you met Dandelion. Mind telling me about it? So long as it's not a sensitive subject, that is. Oh, ancient history. My father announced a grand tourney. Julian was invited. He was to compose a song about a valorous struggle in the arena. What he wrote was the most beautiful love ballad I had ever heard. <laughs> Papa was furious, refused to pay him. Ballad? About you? Not overtly. I was married to Raymond at the time, after all. Hmm. I get it. Okay. Right, nightly tournament seems like a big deal. So that's how they actually met, and then from there, obviously, um, things I described earlier happened. Right, nightly tournament seems like it's a big deal. This tourney, quite a dose of pomp and circumstance. We cherish this tradition. My great-grandmama, Adela Marta, elevated it to its current status. For the longest time, she could not decide whom to wed. Meanwhile, her suitors, and there were swarms, often jeweled one another. In their contests, Ademarta saw an altogether comfortable way of picking the prime apple from the bushel of potential husbands, determining who had what she valued most in men, strength, valor, and cunning. Thus, she commanded them to take part in tourneys, though in the end she chose none of them and wed instead the youngest son of Nilfgaard's reigning emperor, whom she met on a journey south. But Beauclair's inhabitants had begun to enjoy the night's sparring. Very much so. And not only they. The year after, knights from far and wide gathered to face one another for sport and glory. And so it has remained. Though the price has changed. The Duchess's hand and half the duchy are no longer in the offing. Still, Beauclair's tourneys are famed the world over. Of that we are rather proud. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for sparing the time, Your Grace. Duty calls. You got it. I understand. Understand and approve. See you later. Have a nice, um, relaxing time. Right, okay, I want to go and do this quest, and then I'm going to end today's part. I just think it'd be a good place to end the part. Uh, but we've got a lot of stuff to do, guys. We've got a lot of new things to pursue. In this new land, it's an awesome new land. But yeah, let's uh, let's just let's get over to Corvo Bianco. We have a signpost there. Oh, he offers out contracts. Oh, it's so I can't wait. This is going to be an amazing playthrough, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I actually need to access the stash. I got some stuff to put away. Um, right. Oh, here we are. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Never ever trust a woman, remember that? Oh, what? Hey, this is my place. Do not do that. I work up to my chin and I caught some rot. Okay. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Basil Faulty. That is a, a reference to a, a show from, well, the country I'm from, from England or the, the UK, I guess. Uh, sort of a, an English or British show called Faulty Towers. Really, really good show. Um, and he's like a, a manager of a hotel, so he obviously made a major domo. Sort of similar job, kind of funny. I like that. We have Basil Fawlty as our, um, our major. Do he's very, he's very different to the uh, one in the show, but still, that's that's a cool little reference. Okay, this place. Tell me more about it. Yeah. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. 
The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colourful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclerc, went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once, never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's going to show me around. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to get a little tour of the vineyard. That'd be nice. Nice way to uh, end off the part. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. Yes, I should. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Seems like he, um, the, the, the use of the dragged verb seems like he might not be up for it, but, um, okay. Uh, <laughs> right. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff, their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as Master of the Domain to know where the help stays. Oh, I'm going to become intimate with her. the help stays right now, don't you worry. What have you got in here, mate? Nothing. Well, I'm putting out your fire. Yeah. Yeah, have fun starting that. What? What is this? Okay, don't tell him. Wait, he has an upstairs. Okay, I see. One of those unclimbable ladders. Well, let me find out where the rest of the... Okay, look, I'm not going to steal all this stuff. Let's just carry on. Okay. They don't have any stuff. <laughs> it's all taken. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Be cool if you could, like, sell this and then make money in the game. You know, like, sell your own olives and... Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest, aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Oh, marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. We had to summon Looks a awesome. To do their work. Yeah, I, I, I rule the, the estate now. Please, please do not talk to me like that. God. I'm going to put on my lord clothes soon, guys. Nice well. 
Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Mm, nice. Diddly snaps. My back aches. Dragon Mountains is quite far away. How'd he get there? Whoa, look at it. Monsieur Bolius's wife, Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Uh, you're not wrong. Could use a bit of love. Someone just left a watering can there. Maybe start with picking that up. Get a, make a note. I'm just blown away by the um, environment. Which looks amazing. This is cool. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. I mean, I can still see the flowers, although I'm assuming they're different flowers. You are quite the romantic. I like you, Barnabas Basil, my major domo. You are... you are... You know, you, you, you give me a good tour of this place. I have a daughter, you know. She's fit to wed. Oh, so fit. Hmm. Yeah, please, this one right here. No, I'm kidding. Right. Um. If my lips don't stink of wine, This my served wife as an additional wine mine. cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. You hear that, Roach? Come here. This will become your stable. You know what? It's good enough at the moment. Roach, you can sit in there for a bit. You know, uh, just eat the barrels and stuff. You'll have fun. There's some sacks. Don't know what's in them, but yeah, you'll work it out. You're a clever horse. Let's carry on. Yeah, the stable is the first thing we are doing. Uh, what do you if we can. I don't think we can. I think we have to do other things first. But that'll be the that'll be the priority so for sure. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the uh, mess. I forgot. I made while fighting the Bruxa. Oh, so Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Oof. Yeah, yeah, this is literally the place where just like a, a couple days ago, there was a lot of dead people. Or even a day ago, I don't know how long it's been. Time moves weirdly in Toussaint, as they say. Some verbena, take it. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it, a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. My back aches, something horrid. Right, first thing we have to get a mute button. Because these people are keep on screaming at me, and, and we cannot be having that in our place of home. It must be a relaxing experience. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. 
Bianco for Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Ah, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do some, we'll do like the first couple things we can, I think. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Uh, work on the house, the grounds, we'll do... Um, no, I want to do the grounds. I want to get this stable done. I, I said I'd do that. Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Okay, well, we'll get the armor repair table first. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Yeah, sure, why not? Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, the grindstone, sure. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. There you go. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Uh, well, we'll discuss it later. Know what? Change my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today, but I wanted to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. I, I don't think I can ask you anything else. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay, so this is our... Ooh, that's cool. This is our home. Oh god, we can put our swords on? Oh, do we put Iris on immediately? Oh. No, we won't put anything on yet, because, um... Oh god. Just, just because I, um, I want to, like, set everything up perfectly. Oh, so this is my room, huh? I don't think I have any paintings. God, I need to get some trophies out. Yeah, I don't have any paintings. I've, like, sold most of them. <laughs> Not sold. I, um, I decided I didn't need all of them. So the cake we'll put in there. The carrots. The glasses. Uh, we'll put Iris in there for now. We'll put the crossbow. We'll put the wolf school stuff. Um, that can all go in there. I'm not sure about this stuff because I think we could just buy it all. Uh, I think we may as well keep that to sell. I guess. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll quick. I'll put on the fairy stuff soon, just for fun. I'm thinking of getting all gids uh, armor out, but um, I'll do that later. We'll put the Afiri saddle in, and we'll put this trophy in. If you want me to use that trophy instead, if you guys think that's a good idea, then we can always get that out at some point. Yeah, all this stuff has to stay. I wonder if we can do anything with that rabbit mask. Maybe I can give it back to someone or something. I'll have to try and remember that. Okay, well, this is the home. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it could do with some work, but all in all... Now, look, they've even got a fire going. I mean, you know, maybe ask before you set fires in the house, but uh, it's fine, you know? Uh, it's fine. Oh, we can put armor on that. We'll do that in the future. We'll have to really, like, build up the house, too. But we have a lot of money. We have a lot of swords in storage, which now we're into salt. We can go and sell them. Oh, God, it's weird to say it. It's weird to say it. Oh, look at it. Look where we are. Right, let's end today's part, guys. It's been enough. Oh, wait, no, no, no. First things first. I said I'd do this. I'll go put it in storage. I'm gonna walk like a lord, lord of the manor. Everyone, get to work. I'm coming through. Shut up, servant. 
I did not permit you to speak in my vineyard. I'm going to inspect Roach, and it will be fun. Stop looking at me. Cheap shenanigans. Out of the way. If my lips don't stink of wine, my wife won't Okay, well, that was fun, guys. I did the thing. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just, you know, I, I need to, it's an RP game. Look, I'm going to walk across my bridge. you got to lord it over everyone. I'd stomp wine with that one. We would stomp till we were red and sweaty. Warm cow pitters taste better than coronata wine. Okay, this person is too confident. I'm scared. I'm gonna go run in the house and hide. I mean, I'm gonna go and put stuff in the storage, and I will be right back out to end the part. It'll be great. Well, guys, I'm gonna end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part there. It's been amazing. We have finally reached Tucson. It looks amazing. I've got this awesome backdrop right behind um, where I'm ending today's part. I just... Oh, guys, we finally made it. It's taken over two years, but we finally got Geralt a house in a really nice place. And it was sort of by accident, but we have it now. And we've got a place to put up our armors. We've been gathering over the playthrough, put up our stuff. I think we can actually, um... Well, if, if I'd kept the Von Everick painting and not put it on the grave, I think you can put it up in the house. And I was sort of debating this when I was going to put the painting on the grave or not. But I decided to ultimately do it because I like having that dialogue with Iris, I think, a little bit more. And there's paintings you can buy that I think are quite fun um, that you can buy in Tucson. So, you know, we'll get those. Might be nice to have some stuff from earlier on in the playthrough, though, but it doesn't really matter. You know, we have those. We have those memories. We can literally look at them um, at any point. So, yeah, it's fine. I think this is good. I'm really happy, guys. We've kept all the good swords and stuff. I want to make sure when I'm selling the swords, I don't sell, like, the one Krak gave me and stuff, because I feel like that might be quite a nice one to put up in the house. Same with Olgid's sword. Of course, we're not going to sell Iris Baxon, but, you know, all, all, the, all the major swords we've had over the game, I'd like to put them up. Um, I'm not sure how much you can actually put up in the house. I'm trying to remember, but um, yeah, we'll 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 get the house fully restored, and then I think we'll start dealing with all that sort of stuff. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna end today's Witcher Three Blood and Wine part there. I hope you've all enjoyed. Be sure to like to support the series and let me know you want it to continue and all the rest. I would really appreciate that. Um, I appreciate anybody watching. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's Blood and Wine part, guys. We'll be back soon. We'll be back in Tucson. It'll be amazing. I cannot wait. Thank you all for watching today. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an awesome rest of the week.